टुडे बीइंग टीचर्स डे लेट अस पे अ स्मॉल ट्रिब्यूट टू मिस्टर वी आर वेंकटेशन हु वाज अनडाउटेबली वन ऑफ द बेस्ट टीचर्स फॉर मेरे इंजीनियर्स ही वाज कंसीडर्ड अ गुरु ऑफ कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग अमंगस्ट मेरे इंजीनियर्स इट मे बी इंपॉसिबल फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक द वे ही हैड अंडरस्टूड आई मेट आई नेवर एवर डैड टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन दिस टॉपिक बट as an after thought i felt the best tribute i can pay to vrv is to make a small video on a topic he had really loved and mastered i had always found this topic very challenging and still have lots of gaps in my understanding the clarity of thought vrv had will always be elusive to most of us i strongly hope that i'll be able to do some justice to this topic and generate enough interest to direct you to his elaborate video on this topic in hmt youtube channel the link for his full length video will be available in the description with a small request to the departed soul to guide us further on the pursuit to understand marine engineering let's move on to the video in this video we will try and understand the basics of three types of control action proportional integral and derivative most of the materials available in the internet or in the books look at it in a very mathematical way like this this is proportional to kp in some bracket some t which is terrifying to most of us marine engineers except for a gifted few if somebody wants a elaboration on mathematics please do request in comment section we can handle it separately but let us now try to understand it in a very rudimentary way without any mathematics by taking the example of maintaining the level of water in the tank we want the water level to be maintained here we call this as the set point presently it is in a steady state balanced with water flowing in supply of water flowing in at uh, 200 liters per minute and water being consumed from the tank at 200 liters per minute i have a supply valve here which is presently 50% open i can keep it 100% open or 100% shut and this valve can be controlled incrementally or say proportionately between this uh, full open and full shut position the uh, water level in the tank is supposed to be maintained here and if by chance the water level falls here what i have is a error we call it as a deviation or offset or error we also sometimes use the jargons desired value of the control variable so these are all just jargons but let us keep it simple we want the water level to be here now as i already told you 200 liters of water per minute is consumed from the tank and same 200 liters per minute of water is filling the tank so the level obviously is going to maintain here now suddenly the consumer is now started consuming more so he starts consuming 300 liters of water from the tank per minute so it is obvious that the level of water in the tank will reduce now it is obvious that if i want the level of water to be here i need to open this valve now the question we are going to ask here is how much will this valve open supply valve now suppose i make a relationship between this error or the deviation and the opening of the uh, valve in such a way that i establish a proportional relationship between the error and the opening of the valve i call this as proportional action the opening of the valve depends on how much is the error that is the proportionality i am talking about this opening of the valve i call it as corrective action now when i have a proportionality established you can observe that it will happen only after the error has happened that means this valve will commence opening or commence correcting only after the error has happened the supply valve opens more and more as the deviation becomes more and as the supply valve opens more and more there will come a point where the supply is equal to 300 liters per minute the same as the consumption now since the supply is equal to consumption we call this as the steady state condition now the level will remain steady here and it will not go down any further but what we have here left is a error or offset or deviation 
Now suppose I had linked the proportional action in such a way that when the error is so much, the valve will be full open. And when the level is very high here, the valve will be full shut. We know that the water level has to be between these two points. It is not possible for the water level to cross these two limiting points. It has to be somewhere in between these two points. Now you can see that this is quite a change in level possibility. If I don't want the water level to fluctuate so much between these two points and it should be fluctuating only between these two points, what, I, what do I need to do? I need to ensure that when the level is here, my wall is full open and when the level is here, the wall is full shut. So what have I done here? I have ensured that for a small change in the deviation, I am creating a bigger change in the opening of the wall or shutting of the wall. So this adjustment is in simple terms called the proportional band. The narrow the proportional band, I can reduce the maximum deviation. Now this is what people roughly refer to as proportional band. It is in fact tells it in fact uh, tells you about the sensitivity of the corrective action with respect to the error. This proportional band is also sometimes mathematically they define it as it is the opposite of gain. But uh, we will not speak about it earnestly here to keep things simple. So going back to the level of water in the tank, so we know that the valve was opening faster when the error happened and the error got stabilized here. Now if I don't want the error to be there at all, we have another trick in our cupboard and that is called the integral action. Now what is integral action? It may be a little bit jargonish, but we say that rate of corrective action is proportional to the deviation. In other terms, what does it mean? If I have integral action, the integral action, see here the, let us take it step by step. Because of the proportional action, the wall started opening and here I got a steady state, but I got a error offset. Now I want to eliminate the offset. How can I eliminate the offset? By making sure that the wall is opening more. So this is exactly what the integral action is going to do. Now we have defined it mathematically as rate of corrective action is proportional to the deviation. Now when we say rate, obviously it means that the wall is opening. If the wall is not mo moving, then obviously there is no rate of opening. Okay, that we can also say that the wall will stop opening more when the deviation is not there. So what do we conclude? We conclude that the integral action actually removes the deviation. So the wall will continue to open because the error is there. And if the wall continues to open more than what was required, that 300 liters per minute, the level will start rising up and it will remove the deviation. You see, this is the job of the integral action. Let us now look at the third option, which is called the derivative action. Now, let us see how does it defined mathematically. It says that corrective action is proportional to the rate of deviation. Here it means that the wall opening is going to see how fast the deviation is happening. See, rate of deviation. That means how fast the deviation is happening. So, it is predictive in nature. On the basis of this prediction, this wall will continue to open more than what the P action would have done. It is anticipating a big drop in level. The outcome of this uh, derivative action is that the stability point with or without ops offset is achieved quickly. So we can also think it like this. You see here, let us go back to this particular example. Now I have, I am go ba going back to 200 liters and somebody has opened 300 liters. The control system is seeing that, oh, the level has started falling. Is the control system measuring that is looking at the rate of fall of the level. 
and it is now going to predict oh at this rate the level is falling so fast that means i need to open much more so the deviation is actually triggering the proportional action and already opening the wall and the differential action is predicting that at how fast the level is falling so i'll open that much more so what will happen the stability will be arrived much earlier here the level will settle here rather than here if the derivative action was not there right the level will settle here because it was predictive in nature and the integral action will put it back to the set point because it will remove the offset let us summarize the whole thing depending on the error and the relationship between the error and this opening of this wall there are three types of action one is the one which is proportional action so the wall is going to be operated by the p proportional action which is going to depend on the error then to remove the offset i have the integral action the whole idea of this integral action is to remove the offset and to make sure that the stability point is reached earlier the level doesn't fluctuate too much i have the derivative action also so then when i have a pid controller this wall is opening of the wall is a resultant of all these three actions put together so that is how the controls are happening in a pid controller the processing of these controls can be pneumatic electronic digital and uh, generally they can be used for anything like controlling the level controlling the pressure controlling the temperature controlling the speed so the topic is much more than what we are described here i recommend you to please go to the link provided in the description section to see our dear vr venkatesan's full video on this topic which will be very elaborate with great examples i also request you to please see his beautiful videos on governor group reverse power and other complicated conceptual topics they are all available on hmt youtube site mr venkatesan is not there with with us his knowledge and dedication had in fact inspired me i am sure his fantastic videos will continue to guide generations of marine engineers in future also uh, may his soul rest in peace om shanti